are putting the finishing touches on a five-year, $190 million max contract. So the Lakers locking up LeBron the other day and now locking up Anthony Davis. They will have the two of them together for at least the next three years. Jay Will has made his way from across the hall. And Woj, the man is just dropping bombs left and right the last couple of days. Woj, what more can you tell us about this AD deal? Well, AD considered uh, several scenarios, shorter deals, uh, medium-sized deals, and ultimately decided on the longest deal he could do. And now that five-year, $190 million deal, uh, Clutch's CEO, his agent, Rich Paul, tells me will include uh, an early termination option after the uh, before the 2024-25 season uh, where he can go back in, do another extension with the Lakers and you know still be just 32 years old and and get another presumably get another max deal uh, but this kind of closes the circle on this whole uh, process with Anthony Davis from from he and Rich Paul asking for that trade out of New Orleans back in February of 2019 getting the trade in June of 2019 to the Lakers winning a title in October now five years 190 million dollars uh i'm told he will s probably sign that deal as soon as today all right and so jay well the first thing you said to me as you walked in here was it's scary you how you want the trophy you the tro you want the trophy right now done that, that, that good I, I i don't think it's done barring injuries but i mean they're exponentially better than any other team in the nba uh, look at what they've been able to do they re-signed kcp they bring on Dennis Schroeder, a guy that can score on anybody. He was part of a pivotal backcourt last year with OKC. You bring on <laughs> a guy that was literally in the same building that you stole from the team that you shared the building with. Mm -hmm. when, when you think about what Montrez Harrell brings from a big perspective, you sign Marcus Saul. You, you still have a guy like Kyle Kuzma there. They, they have all the pieces to be, and Wesley Matthews, a guy that can space the floor from a three-point shooting perspective. So they've got LeBron and AD now locked in together for three years. LeBron is three years. In those three years, how many rings do they win? I think they can get at least two more. That's the magic number, right? More. Because that means six for LeBron, and we all know what that means. I mean, and now you think about LeBron has a chance on the back end. If, they, if he does get two more, we're already having the conversation about him being the greatest of all time with Michael Jordan. I think this just continues to raise the profile of his dominance within the league. All right, and so we have that situation. Then let me go back to Woj, because just it feels like 15 minutes ago, we were reacting to the enormous story you broke last night, which is the trade of Russell Westbrook to Washington for John Wall. So let's analyze what that means for the superstars in their places. What does it mean for Bradley Beal in Washington, and what does it mean for James Harden in Houston? Yeah, and, and that is the question, Greeny, for both those organizations. Can the exchange of point guards uh, help to keep, whether it's Bradley Beal in Washington, James Harden in Houston, can that help to convince them to stay long term? The Rockets have a little more cushion. Harden has two years left on his deal, but there's more urgency in Washington uh, with Russell Westbrook. And I know this about Westbrook right now. Uh, he has been very bothered, I'm told, uh, by the suggestion of the kind of teammate he is and the criticism that he's felt he's taken uh, here in the last month's year about uh, being a great teammate. That's important to him. I think those who played with him in his career uh, consider him among the most loyal uh, uh, guy who would do almost anything for the guys around him or people in an organization. And I think going to Washington, I think that's extra motivation for him uh, to really try to make it work with Bradley Beal, uh, to be a, a point guard who can share the ball and, and spotlight Beal and, and help him to, be, to become an All-NBA player and get this Wizards team back in the playoffs. Well, how do you see it, Jay? Well, it's a, it's a fascinating deal in so many ways. Yeah, I, I think it's a win for the Wizards. Look, it's going to get the Wizards back into the playoffs. You know, people forget that Russell Westbrook averaged 27 points per game, eight rebounds, and seven assists. He was third team All NBA. If he didn't have that hamstring injury, we might have been talking about a different Russell Westbrook after he came off COVID into the bubble. So, him, Davis Bertans, Bradley Beal, I love this. As it relates to James Harden, I don't know. Now, if you're James Harden, you didn't want to be there in the first place. You might be forced to play this through. I hope John Wall comes back and is incredible. He's looked incredible in some of these pickup games I've heard him play in. But now you have John Wall coming up an Achilles injury, hasn't played since 2018, has DeMarcus Cousins, hasn't played due to injury. 
It's a lot of question marks for the Houston Rockets. I don't think it's enough to get James Harden to stay in Houston. Well, the man who always has the answers for us is Woj and Jay Will, of course, KJZ, coast to coast every morning on ESPN Radio. Woj, can't tell you how much we appreciate you doing all that this morning for us. The great Adrian Wojnarowski. Thanks, guys. And again, off the top of our show, Anthony Davis and the Lakers are finalizing a five-year, $190 million max contract so it becomes a day of enormous basketball news between this and the trade from yesterday but the headline here is that the lakers now have lebron locked up for three years and anthony davis locked up for five and let's start the conversation there with big perk it's been too long since we've had kendrick perkins <laughs> back here great to see you big fella so with that laker news let's say that's three years now they are assured of having ad and lebron together in those three years how many championships do they win well, Granny, listen, all I've been hearing this whole offseason is that it's not that much money. Guys are not, a, not about to get paid. But guess what? Down there in L.A., guess what's happening? <laughs> all I see is the Brinks trucks going up and down the highway, Greeny. And look, they are taking care of their superstars, and rightfully so. You have a guy who people call the Wash King and LeBron James. Guess what? Jenny Buss said he's not washed to us, and we go show you. We go extend him to a well-deserved $85 million contract. And then we're going to lock in our 27-year-old generational stud in Anthony Davis. Our duo is not going anywhere. And we have strong belief that over the next four years at least, that these two guys could be the best duo in the league and deliver more championships, and rightfully so. Job well done by the Lakers organization, uh, Rob Palenka and Rich Paul by getting it done. I'm not letting you off the hook. How many? Next three years. Right now, those two guys are locked in for the next three. How many of the next three rings do you think the Lakers get? I, I think they lose? get about two, maybe. I think they get about two, Greeny. And look, right now, LeBron is, is feeling rejuvenated. He knows that he's playing alongside Anthony Davis, and he wants to take advantage. of it and look watch watch and see in the next couple years LeBron, LeBron is going to defer to Anthony Davis and Anthony Davis will be in the MVP conversation so I see them winning at least two more championships well that's a really significant number Kendrick Perkins and you don't need me to tell you this but just to remind everyone LeBron has four two more would give him six what would six championships for <laughs> LeBron James mean for his legacy well, I know, I know your partner in crime, Stephen A., is probably saying not a damn thing. But it would do everything for his legacy. It would shut up the old haters like Jalen Rose, my guy who always going to keep Michael Jordan at the top. But it's going to put him right there in the conversation with Mike and prove those old haters wrong. So I'm rooting for old King James to go ahead and get his six titles. All right, again, they have added other pieces as well. Montrez Harrell, Dennis Schroeder, Mark Gasol. So they get younger and more veteran experience. The Lakers go into next year as a significant favorite. Meanwhile, for those of you who didn't see the news yesterday, a Woj bomb late yesterday afternoon, an enormous trade in the NBA with Russell. Russell Westbrook going to Washington from Houston in exchange for John Wall. So let's start by talking about Houston. What does that make them with James Harden, John Wall, who hasn't played in almost two years? What do you think this means for the Rockets? Well, Granny, to be honest, I don't know. And I don't think the Rockets know. I think this is going to be a trial run. What I want you to uh, look out for and everybody to watch is watch the Philadelphia 76ers and the Houston Rockets the first 30 games of the season. Because if it's not going their way for both teams, look for Dale Moore to be aggressive in pursuing James Harden. Because if the John Wall fit, if the, if the John Wall and James Harden don't fit, James Harden is really going to force his way out. And I see him going to the 76ers if it don't pan out the way he wants it. I've heard Philly, and of course we heard some speculation about Brooklyn. Right now, James Harden, if you were advising him and he's your former teammate, would you tell him to go to Philly and play with those guys or go to Brooklyn and play with KD? Well, short term, short term, I would tell him to go to, to the Brooklyn Nets. 
Long term, I would tell them to go to the Philadelphia 76ers and pair up with Joel and B. He's never played with a big man like Joel. He's never played with a player like Joel and B. This guy is a generational talent. I think those two would match well together and they that they, they could play together for the next four or five four to five years at an extremely high level. The, going to the Brooklyn Nets, that would be like a two-year deal where it was just like, oh, I'm coming here to try to win a title. What's next? But if you go to Philly, you could play there long term. You see on the screen, the Rockets don't plan to trade James Harden, but we all know what happens to plans. Every now and again, you wind up getting punched in the face. Big Perk, <laughs> outstanding to see you, right. my friend. We'll do it again soon. Meanwhile, let me get up and you go too, to some of the other busy news on this sports week. Broncos coach Vic Fangio says all four of his team's quarterbacks have been fined for not wearing masks in a meeting last week. Drew Locke, Brett Rippon, Blake Bortles were all ineligible to play Sunday after being deemed high-risk close contacts of Jeff Driscoll, who tested positive for COVID. Meanwhile, Michigan and Maryland, that game this weekend, will not be played. Michigan canceling because of a rise in cases in their program. The earliest the Wolverines could get back on the field would be Monday, their rivalry game against Ohio State a week from Saturday, as the result is very much in jeopardy. And to baseball, where Kyle Schwarber's six-year run in Chicago seems to be over. The Cubs non-tendered their 2016 World Series hero, making him a free agent. They did tender a contract to Chris 